What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network for Omnipoke Online Play League Week 11. This week, I am playing against Flex Daddy Righteous, uh, JW Craywall, as you may know him, or even as Bassoon Boy 135, which is his ETCGO in game name. This is the single prize week, so I'm super stoked for this. Uh, you can only play with single prizes in your deck so i've got this deck right here which i haven't even named because i don't know what the heck it is uh, but we've got kind of a bird keeper engine going on uh the raikou amazing rare with amazing shot and then also guzzlord which can take an extra prize card um i've got single prize or don fan which is pretty much like my typical don fan deck just a couple of changes we have the memory charm in here too memory capsule so we can use uh Bampy strike back attack and then we've got uh greedent as well so depending on what i think my opponent's playing after game one we'll see what i queue up with but um i think we're starting this out with the uh single prize deck one we gotta get we gotta get some gameplay with this deck in it uh so let's see if jw is ready okay he's ready to go let's do this scroll over to uh single prize deck one. Oh, there it is okay here we go so this is really interesting um if you go over to omnipoke's channel joe actually did like a lot of like analysis and like he looked through all the single prizes in the format um and was like talking about you know what might be good and what people might bring and cards that people might focus around and strategies and things like that um, so we could really spend a lot of time in the single prize format if we wanted to, uh, but it's just a, it's just a single week as of now for the Omnipoke League, and we'll see how this goes. I lost the coin flip, good because I honestly didn't know if I wanted to go first or second. So uh, JW picked for me. I think second seems good though. Since I'm doing the whole bird keeper rallet thing, second seems good. <laughs> oh no, we've got <laughs> Frostwall the Whale Lord. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's uh, do a little bit of Great Ball zero pokemon in the top okay now let's get bird keeper got marnie uh. did we try again for bird keeper that seems like it could be a waste I think we'll just grab Marnie. Okay, so we're gonna play down both of these Rallets and then Marnie. I'm going to make the assumption that we don't get knocked out next turn, but we'll have to see if that is a safe assumption or not. Uh, so not the ideal first turn. At the moment, JW just sees this as any old bird keeper deck. We got the Swana, we got the Rallet, maybe we have a Starly in here. But that's all this looks like right now. It just looks like a bird keeper deck.
So I could have quick balled away that dark energy actually. I could have quick balled away the dark energy instead of Jirachi and get another Jirachi on the bench. So in case they do get a knockout, I'm safe. That would have been so much better now that I'm looking at that. Yeah, I definitely should have done that. Definitely should have quick balled away dark energy. What was I thinking? All right, they don't have much going on either, so that's good. Oh, there's the Guzzlord. Oh, Stellar wishing to Bird Keeper, perfect. Okay, this is looking good now. So we can hit... Oh, we'll probably want to hit Wilmer for 60. Or no, 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 no. We want to hit Frostmoth. Yeah, we want to hit Frostmoth. Okay. So we bench this. Okay. Now I should start talking more about the theory of this deck. So the theory of this deck is I have time to power up something like an Amazing Rare Raikou or a Guzzlord if I am using Bird Keeper attackers most of the time. That's the theory of this deck. Like, just try to use Bird Keeper a lot, and then I am fine to, uh, you know, just take these turns to power up strong attackers on the bench. And of course, Coco Prism can help with Raikou. Um, Coco Prism could potentially even help with Guzzlord, but I'm also playing Twin Energy. So this deck is completely untested, by the way. So we'll have to see how this actually turns out. Um, Mr. Mime would be a good... Thing to have in this deck though now looking at the scoop up nets and that they could just pick up that frost moth if they wanted to and there is whale lord so that's going to be the thing we need to knock out raikou can help us with that so right now it's doing uh 170 very nice I also have bead in here as energy acceleration. Forgot about that until I just saw it there. We'll take this. We have Ordinary Rod in our hand. We're just going to take that. Scoop up not the active. Go into Jirachi. Um, Stellar Wish. Or Scoop up net again, I guess. We're looking for Great Ball or Pokecom. Play down Jirachi. Well, Bird Keeper into this Jirachi. There's the Swana. Perfect. Okay, we don't need this Quick Ball, I don't think.
So swing into that for 140. Okay, heck of a turn there. Um, I'm really enjoying this whole single single prize uh, format thing. I am really, really enjoying it. This deck I built is such a mess, but I love it. I love it. Like I said, untested. Uh, we're learning how to play it as we go, kind of, but it's, uh, it's an adventure. I'm having a lot of fun. Like, I'm sure he did not expect to see a Guzzlord being manually attached to, and uh, I definitely didn't expect to see a Whale Lord. He's also seen me flash the bead with uh, Stellar Wish. Boss up the Guzzlord, very nice. And we already used Ordinary Rod, that hurts. Hmm. I think we'll get rid of that, thin out the deck a little. Go ahead and grab a Lightning Energy. Wish. We're looking for Bird Keeper. Bird Keeper is the goal here. Okay, let's see if they have boss again. <laughs> it's crazy that that whale lord is gonna run through us here. Ah, oh, they whiffed the gear. Okay. Whiff the gear is good for us. Very good. Another energy comes down. Ooh. Research. Welmer number two. How do you do? Yeah, I need to be hitting the po the uh the bird keepers more consistently, so maybe that means we uh we need poke gears in this deck. Jirachis and Poga Gear. Maybe JW actually tested this format, and that's why he has the Jirachis and Poke Gear. He's got <laughs> he's got a little bit of a better insight, it seems. There's Hydro Pump. We can realistically, I think, come back at any point though. Okay, great ball. Coco doesn't help now. Could help in the future. We also are playing uh, Kangaskhan, I believe. This is, yeah, this, I put Kangaskhan in the stack for sure. We'll grab Ducklet. We're gonna Viridian this away. We'll grab one of the other energies we need for Raikou. And here's the Stellar Wish. Okay, we just got Amarni.
Let's see if we can keep boss out of their hand for one more turn. One more turn without boss, please. There's Kanga. Okay, so even if they get the boss, we can knock them out with Kanga. Double checking to make sure I put the right Kangaskhan in my deck. <laughs> I feel like there's still a chance for me here because they do have to evolve their main Pokemon and my Raikou doesn't have to evolve but it can just be knocked out by a gust and that would be very bad oh they're looking for the boss here we go is it boss's orders is it boss o'clock ladies and gentlemen It's Professor's Research, all right. All right, we're still in here. There's the ice cube, very nice. And training court, okay. If we can get bird keeper we'll knock out that with this i think to force them to have the boss maybe and that doesn't sound good just because we don't have boss of our own i mean first of all we need to uh get our jirachi out of there that's the first thing we got to do Scoop up network. Is that the move? Or is it switch? We'll switch. I would like to take out Frostmoth because typically that makes more sense, but actually maybe, oh, actually maybe swinging into this makes the most sense. I think swinging into this makes a lot of sense because then I knock out this with I, then they're both one shot range in my bird keeper attacker. So if I knock out this, then this lives for two turns. If I knock out this, then it would be nice to take prizes though, because I need the energy in my prizes. And just in case they could heal, yeah, we'll we'll knock this out just in case they can heal. All right, there's Bird Keeper. We didn't need the Dark Energy anymore because they did Gust the Guzzlord. But the Bird Keeper is good. There's Training Court. Okay, that helps us get back the energy um, if we want to use another amazing Raikou. out there
I might want to make room on my bench, so I'll grab the scoop up net. Hmm. We were looking for Quick Ball or Raikou. We oh, we already used Quick Ball and for Great Ball, so we're looking for the raw Raikou there, and we did not hit it. Is that going to be game? The plan was going to be actually. I should. Have, I always sort of switch in this uh, Swana because that has free retreat. Oh, definitely should have switched in the Swana. That's a misplay. Big ol' misplay. Oh, we could have went for... Oh, man. Wait, maybe I misplayed again. Holy crap. We could go for a bead play with this next turn. That would be insane. We can almost guarantee that, actually. Wait, this could be really good. Can we get the bead play next turn if we go boom, boom? Yeah, we can. Okay. There's a lot of possibilities here. I'll keep my options open. We'll feather slice this. We're going to keep the options open. So I could... I could have planned to go in with Tapu Koko as my attacker, and if I was doing that, then I would have uh, used Rallet as my attacker this turn to knock out the Frost Moth. And then go for the Oko on the Whale Lord with Coco here. But then... Hmm. Yeah, so I need to basically top deck into Raikou. Yeah, it has to be the, exactly a top deck into Raikou. Okay, Marnie, that, that could work out. That is not going to work out. They're gonna hit me with Ice Q, right? Wait, what? Oh, they're healing the Frost Month. Okay. Okay, making sense now. That's very smart. Wait, we can we can do the play I wanted to do if we get bead here. Right? Could we? Or am I crazy? No, we can't. We needed one of these energy to be a different color energy. No, we can't. Okay. Uh and we can't do Coco because Coco would have to kill itself. Oh, I should have attached last turn. Okay. Uh let's we have to do something. Marring. So we just never get to use that, I don't think, right? We have to pop this to go into this, into the Kanga. Um, yeah.
Okay, and then they need boss to kill the Jirachi. Okay, there's boss kill Jirachi. Whew, okay, so JW takes game one. That was uh, that was crazy. I need to figure out what deck I'm playing next. Uh, I'll play Don Fan. I'll go first. Wait, no, I should play Greedon. Greedon's more fun. I'll go first. Greedon. I should play Greedon since yeah, I think it should be fun. I'm just going to look at it right quick so I remember what's in the deck. Okay, we got Fiona. We got Stamps. Okay, good. This makes sense. It makes sense, I think. Someone tell me it makes sense. Single prize agreement. Here we go. Hopefully he didn't bring his greed encounters. <laughs> We're going firsties with the greedents. I chose first because I want to get to evolve. Um, you know, that could definitely end up not being good for me. Yeah, so I like to go first. But yeah, let's see if uh, going first works out. Interesting. Okay. Got some pretty good stuff going on. This looks like a good going first hand. There's research. That would have been nice if I was going second. Uh, okay. Skoet. That's important. Looks like we're playing against Aegislash. And Jirach, also a good card. We could just grab Greedent. Yeah, we'll just grab Greedent, that seems fine. We'll hold on to the balloon. Pretty decent turn one. We have the Cursula, which we, we want Corsola down so we can evolve into Cursula. Uh, we want the air balloon on the Corsola, but we'll wait until we're actually getting use out of it. Okay, and JW just passes here. Unfortunate. And we have the triple excel, so uh, this is the juice. Oh my goodness, the juice. We don't have another basic Pokemon. That's... That's the big issue here. So we're, yeah, the problem is we don't have another Skullit ready. Or what? what's his name? Yeah, Squovit. Squovit, that's it. We'll take the knockout here. Send up uh, Cursula. We'd like to have two Squovit, one Greedent in hand, but we have the opposite. The Dewblade evolves. Could be a Dewblade deck. The deck could be focused on Dewblade. On the tool drop attack. All right, that's not bad. We got Squovit, we got Cursula, we got Great Ball. We can sit behind dolls for a while. So like, uh, it should be cool if we whiff draw support for a while. We have the Jirachis. I didn't want to put down that. Uh, I didn't want to get the amazing rare Jirachi with Great Ball just because 
we wanted that air balloon on the Cursula. Um, and I wasn't going to be using that amazing rare Jirachi immediately, so I figured we would take the Greedent since we were going to be using that. Um, we were going to be using that next turn. So we'll see what Great Ball gives us. And Amazing Rare Jirachi, that's gonna do. That's gonna that's gonna be pretty good for us. So we'll retreat to this. Dreamy Revelation. Quick Ball. Yeah, Quick Ball seems fine. I will pass. So this one's a bit of a boring one. I took that early, early prize card and now we're stalling out a bit. Uh Greedent. The like the deck the list for Greedent that saw like some competitive success. Uh that used Oracorio GX as like a really important part of the deck, because whenever something was knocked out, you just draw three cards, so stamp doesn't hurt you. Marnie isn't as bad. As without Oracorio, but this list obviously is missing Oracorio GX because we're playing single prizers week. Um, but I think uh like the whole doll gimmick can be weak when your opponent can just boss and kill two prizers, but when they have to do that six times, it's a lot different. So that's why I thought greeting could be pretty strong this week. Okay, and just a pass. Beautiful, beautiful air balloon. And then we actually have too many dolls on the bench, so we have to pop one to the bottom here to make room for our other Squovit. Okay, so green's working out pretty well. I'm liking it. And here comes Age of Slash. I forgot what it did, so we're gonna find out now. <sighs> Trash Slash. This Pokemon is knocked out by damage. Put it into your hand instead of the discard pile. And it does um, up to 130 damage for each item in their discard pile. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna do this. Accidentally turned off my mic there. I will send up the Cursula and let perish body do its thing if it's heads then we knock them out it's heads we knock out aegis slash it does not return to the hand because we did not knock it out with damage we knocked it out with perish body so that's exactly how we wanted this to go we'll sound out the jirach it is my turn again greedent is firing on all cylinders here this is beautiful we'll put down seal since we are getting to knock out mew this turn dreamy revelation and now these dolls are going to start putting in work well, they might, actually. I'm not even sure if my opponent's going to have something to attack with here. I wonder if he'll bring Aegislash twice, or if, like, if I, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up winning this here. So I wonder if he'd bring Aegislash twice, or if he'd bring the next stack. So we'll each get to show three decks in that case.
we'll just preserve all our our doll there play down another squovit and the smack and run All right, that one was a bit quicker. Um, I think I will just go with my last deck so we get the show off all three. We'll go with single prize Don Fan here. This is so much fun. I hope we do more of these weeks in OPOP -OP League. These decks are like so unique. I love it. Let me know what you guys think would do really well in the best of one. Uh, I do think control could be good. I didn't mess around with it at all. Like I said, I, I just built these decks. I didn't test them at all. I didn't actually play with them. Um, but yeah, I think control should have a lot of potential in best of one because you just have so much time because like your opponent isn't knocking out multiple prize Pokemon and they don't have altered creation. He said he wants to go first. I like to go first. No. Oh, this is a weird hand. Opponent has Mulligan. Oh, he is going with Aegis Lash. Okay. Brought the same deck twice. Did not expect that. My hand is pretty disastrous, I must say. But yeah, in my opinion, this is the way the Pokemon trading card game was meant to be played. Um, I don't mind two prize formats as much as I mind, like, you know, three prize formats, which completely... Um, breaks the integrity of the game at that point like three price pokemon are just an obnoxious game des game design but like two price pokemon are fine there's been tons of great two price formats um single price formats amazing we need pokemon here okay there we go Whew. that was close that was big close Uh, scoop up net's better than switch, right? Yeah, scoop up net's better. So we'll keep scoop up net. And we'll grab FAMP. Our opponent finally knows what we're playing. It's Don Fan. We do have Spear Tombs in here as well. And Aegis Lash is weak to dark, so that could come in handy. All right, we got Dublade coming out. And wait, he didn't evolve? He just... I'm a bit confused. Maybe in case I had boss, like you didn't want to evolve the bench. Oh no, I'm not sure. Okay. Not sure about that one. Let's Stellar Wish first since we do have scoop up net. Oh, perfect. That's beautiful. We don't need this right now.
No reason to bench that yet. I think we'll just hold on to it. We'll just, yeah, not do anything else. We'll just earthquake probably. Uh, it's okay to do this maybe. Yeah, we'll do this. For the uh for the strike back. I think so I, I really, really liked JW's uh whale or deck. I can't say I'm a fan of Aegis Slash too much as a card really like i don't think its power level is really there um it's kind of similar it kind of is uh reminiscent of greninja break because like it comes back to your hand and recycle energy comes back so it reminds me of splash energy but i don't think it's like super super good um the whale lord deck was tight though Oh, we can boss that. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> He's gonna go ahead and side power this fampy. Poor little guy. Oh, that's a good play. Bring up this Fampy. Knock out that one. That's really good. Let's see what we top deck here. And it's a Marnie. That'll do. I honestly don't think we're gonna need memory capsule like it seems like we're gonna be fine um i do i believe i'm playing two of those memory capsules right now so uh, we should be good to go quick ball for that so we can poke a come for this and then marnie nice Um, I'd rather knock out Jirachi or Dublade than the Mew. So what we're going to do here. Ditch that. Gave a toughness to that. Whirlpool suction. <laughs> Make them bring up something else. And uh, we'll build Spite Earthquake. I think the problem just ends up being like, you know, he has stage two Pokemon. He has to get onto the board and I'm just getting stage ones down. There is the first Aegis Slash of the game though. Sends out the research. Oh, crushing hammer crushing hammer off the benched one I do have fighting energy in hand anyway recycle comes down does this take a knockout it does full 130 damage we send out Don fan hmm
Okay, good, 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 good. We just feeling around this. You get to knock this out, but then we knock them out with tomb. I'm also drawing like really well. Two recycle energy on the age of slash, so they're probably going to research their hand away. If I had a guess. <sighs> he is deciding what to do here. Zigzagoon onto the spirit tomb. Okay. Would he actually... He needs... Four more to knock out my spirit tomb. I mean, maybe he plays tool scrapper. You never know. Could play tool scrapper. Okay. Yeah, that, that looks like it's going to be the game from there. Anguish Cry for just enough damage. Okay, and we won versus Flex Daddy Righteous. Uh, good games, JW. Uh, be sure to check out Flex Daddy Righteous over on YouTube if you have not already. He is a regional champion, for gosh sake. So please go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He has incredible insight and uh, a lot of good content over there and on Twitch as well. Shout out to Omnipoke for holding this series. I've been having a ton of fun with it and it's giving me really great content and connecting me with other content creators over the pandemic. Shout out to PoTownStore.com, my lovely sponsor and the best place for you to get PTCGO codes. Be sure to use code CELIO for 5% off. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already for daily Pokemon TCG content, leave a like and comment. Let me know what you thought about this single prize meta and uh, go check out all the other content creators involved in this and check out their single prize matches as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.